Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell an item from the drop down on web page using Selenium in Python. Alright, so I'll be using Udemy's uh, website for this demonstration. So from the result page, we have this uh, drop down. In this drop down, we have four different items. Basically, we are going to use Selenium to pick the uh, item that we want to select, and that's it. Alright, so here let me insert my code snippet. And let me change my uh, virtual environment to a web scraper. To select an item using Selenium, from the selenium.webdriver.supported.ui module, we need to import this uh, select class. And this is my code snippet, I'm importing everything uh, as default. In case we want to capture the air, from selenium.common.exceptions, you can import no such element exception air object. And here let me change the file path to just uh, to just the driver. And let me go ahead and grab the link. Now let me run the select code. I'm going to run on each line one by one, just so you know the flow. All right, now we'll navigate to the uh, this result page. We now need to inspect the element that associated to the dropdown. I'm going to select the dropdown, right click. I'm using Firefox, by the way. And here I'm going to inspect element. Now let's take a look at the associated uh, element that respond to the uh, dropdown. If I hover my mouse, uh, this is the element that associated to the dropdown. And since we have the ID available, I'm going to grab the ID first. I'm going to paste the ID inside my code editor. So what I need to do is I need to create a reference to the uh, dropdown. Here I'm going to insert my browser object. And this is basically my uh, web driver. I want to find the element by ID. I'll name the output as element dropdown. Now if I run line 17, it's going to be able to successfully create uh, the app job. So this element dropdown object is linked to this uh, dropdown. Now we can basically manipulate the dropdown uh, however we want. From the select class, inside the select class, I'm going to provide my element dropdown object. Oh, so here I have a typo. Let me recreate the object again. Here I'm going to name uh, the select object as lowercase select. Now if I print the attributes and methods of the select object, from this list, we have uh, several options. We can either select every single item uh, if the multi-select option is available. We can deselect everything, deselect by index, uh, by value, by visible text. I'll show you how to select item using index and uh, visible text since those two methods will basically cover 99% of the use cases. All right, so let's start with the uh, select by visible text first. And this will be uh, select by index. Let's say from the dropdown, I want to select newest. So here I'm going to insert my select object that select by visible text. Inside the function, I want to type the item that I want to select. In this case, it will be news. Now, if I run line 21, and it's going to change the drop down item to news. And what happens if we um, insert a value that does not exist in the drop down? 
it's going to raise a no such element exception here. So that's why we can use uh, this air object or air uh, item. Here I'm going to insert a try exception block. I'm going to insert no such element exception here. And here we can handle the error by inserting a message. The item does not exist. Now if I run the uh, try accept block, it's going to be able to successfully capture the error and print the message or any action that you want to handle uh, individually. And that's the uh, select by feasible text method. Now if I want to select an item based on the index, here I'll insert the select object. I'll insert the select by index method. Now if we look at the drop down, this time I want to select highest rated uh, videos or courses. And we know based on the uh, drop down, the index for the highest rated item is tweet. So I'm going to insert tweet and I'll run line 27. You might have to play around with it to get the correct result. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.